Good evening, this is Don Burgess. I'm here with Tourism Minister Jamal Simmons. We're at Shelly Bay Park where you can see a little bit of atmosphere with the steel pan and some vendors out here and there's a, a decent crowd out. Uh, Minister, uh, a decision was reached earlier today. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I think that one of the things I want to stress, first of all, that from the beginning, the government has been about collaboration. And the consultative process, even up till this morning, was still ongoing. What we wanted was a product that the community would embrace, that matched the community values and the values of the beach as exists now. So when we saw that there were protesters, some, we felt, you know what, we need to talk to them, get some understanding, and get a sense of something that the community is very passionate about. And we did that. And they made some very clear guidelines in terms of what they felt should happen and what shouldn't. And as the Colonel mentioned in, 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 uh, on the radio earlier today, we're going to take those recommendations back to Cabinet and we're going to deliberate from there. But I think that one of the things that we understand as a government is that it's not about us, it's about the people we're elected to represent. And so when we began this process, I asked the Bermuda Tourism Authority who drove it on my behalf two questions. Have you talked to the area representatives and have you talked to BEST? And they said, we've talked to BEST and the environmentalists, and they're happy, but they hadn't talked to the MPs. I said, let's talk to the MPs, and let's get the community involved and get the feedback. We want to enhance the product. We want to do different things around the island, but the best product is one that highlights what Bermudians like and Bermudians enjoy, and create an energy that draws people in. I think that's where our strength is, when you have that community interaction. I could put Disney World here. But it doesn't mean that our tourists will have a good experience if there's not the Bermudian element in that. So tonight, part of what we said is that, look, we've, we've reached an agreement that there will be a form of concession and there will be a form of events such as fish fries. This is the possibilities. And I've asked the community to come back and let's continue to talk about it. But I think that we've reached a, at a, a level of agreement that the parks are run by government. And what happens in the parks has to go through government. It doesn't go through BTA, it doesn't go through me by myself, it doesn't go through Jack Spratt. And so what the community wants will be the driving force of everything. Yeah, uh, you talked about fish fries and the line for SIDS started er started early and people were, were looking forward to tasting what he had to offer. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, is that when we look around the uh, Caribbean and our competitors, fish fries are a normal thing. And so whether it's here or somewhere else, it is something that Bermuda can do, and I strongly believe we can do better than anybody else. I mean, everybody's got fish, but not everybody's got SIDS, or Art Mel's, or Woody's. <laughs> so, you know, we, we can do things a little better here. And I think that this is a taste of not necessarily what Shelly Bay could be, but what we can do if we work together with the communities and create something that will be community-loved and draw tourists. So, specifically, What's going to be some of the recommendations going forward from now? The recommendations that we are taking to Cabinet, the Colonel, Colonel Birch and I, is that there be one concession and occasional events. But we're waiting for a formal proposal to come back from us. And we've also embraced the concept of the access for the physically challenged. Because, and that's something that we actually were examining already. And there actually is, there actually are in place several things that can be restored or expanded upon that can get there. And what I think is important to note is that when... The parliamentary system was first established. It was established with a mindset that said, you send people over there who know better, and I'll leave them for five years to figure out what it is because I don't know any better. And we live in the 21st century where anybody can go online and Google, they can research, and so we have a more informed public, we have a public that is more empowered, and as a government, we want to ensure that that knowledge, that empowerment, and that informed process is a part of what we do going forward. So access for the disabled, what, are you, what area are you looking at to make it more easy for them to, to get to the beach? Well, well, I have to get the Colonel to speak on that because there actually are several plans in place right now. But what we wanted to make sure is that for people who want to be able to get into the water and camp because of wheelchairs and things of that nature. And I think that the points that the protesters raised were very valid and there were points we were looking at already. But to be able to make this expand the family atmosphere, to allow more members of the family to be able to participate is something we support and we're glad to embrace. I noticed the, the picnic tables were added uh, for this event. Were, are the picnic tables going to stay, or are you going to move them to a different location around here, or what's going to happen with them? Well, what we wanted to do tonight, in particular, is to allow the public, particularly our seniors, to have a place to sit. And as we continue to discuss and talk about what amenities and what things will be here, that'll be part of the discussion. You know, And I think that what we want is when we have a finished product, it is one where the atmosphere of a family beach, the atmosphere where people can picnic and where people can enjoy each other in quiet and peace will be maintained. 
Uh, you're also still taking uh, feedback from the public here. So how is that going to be incorporated into what goes forward? Well, what I think when we spoke to the group, you know, we reached an agreement in terms of what they found acceptable. And, you know, we said, look, come tonight, take a look. You may try to change what you send to us, but we're holding no expectations in that regard. But I think when we look at the beach plan in its totality, there are opportunities that will fit different communities. And I think it's about our job, really, as the government. It's not a BTA's job, it's not Park's job, is to find the formula that works. And I think that's what the key is. What do you think about the crowd tonight? No, I'm glad people came out, and I'm glad people are sharing their opinions. I mean, I, I'm even see a few OBA MPs and senators. And this is what, what I would love to see, Don, is we've managed to make international business relatively political free. I'd like to see tourism and education hit that spot. And part of what we've been doing in our ministry is to be a place where we consult with the opposition, we show them the bills in advance, we talk to them and try and hammer out some of our differences beforehand. And you may notice that the drama and the noise has kind of dialed down, mostly. I mean, politics is politics, but I think that if we can sort of get an understanding of where we're coming from, what we're trying to do, and get feedback on the front end, we may end up with a better product and less drama on the back end. Well, thank you, Minister. Uh, next up for us will be uh, a couple of representatives for the BTA. We, we really appreciate the Minister taking his time out to, to speak to us this evening. Thanks, Have a good night. I appreciate you. Have a